Most people probably wouldn't think of butter as a flammable substance. And it's not really, but it could be. In this project, we're making emergency candles that will burn for hours from a piece of toilet paper and a stick of butter. For this project, I got into my wife's baking supplies and found this 4 ounce stick of butter. The butter can be placed on top of a few squares of toilet paper and now it's ready to cut in half. You can use a sharp knife to cut cleanly through the paper and holding it with the folds at the top will help prevent the paper from binding and ripping as you push down through the block. Alright we've got our two halves, now let's make the wick. Take one square of toilet paper and some scissors and cut it into quarters so you end up with a little square like this. Now this can be folded down diagonally and twisted tightly to give it support. I folded this one at the bottom for two reasons, height and convenience. When it gets placed into the butter, there will only be a quarter inch of the wick sticking up at the top, and that's about all we want. Using something like a toothpick or a skewer, poke a hole in the center of the butter all the way to the bottom. Now set your wick over the hole and use the skewer to push it down into place. A little twist should release it, and it looks like it's set. Now we'll need to add a little starter fuel to the wick, and that's done by rubbing it around in the butter until it's got a nice coating. At this point, your candle is ready to go. When you strike your match, hold it near the base of the wick so that it helps heat the butter. If your butter was frozen like mine, it might take a few seconds before the flame is fully self-sustaining. But there it is, a dairy-powered candle. Not only is this butter candle easy to make, but each half will burn for about four hours. As the butter gets melted, the liquid is wicked and released as a vapor into the flame, and it's the vapor that you see burning. Dropping your candle into a glass will help keep the flame steady, as well as set a nice ambience for the room. It doesn't get much simpler than this, but if you decide you need a firmer wick, try straightening a paper clip and wrapping your wicking paper around that for support. This will prevent your wick from falling over when the fuel burns down and liquefies. Well there's how to make a simple emergency candle using some toilet paper and a bit of butter. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. <laughs>